What is up, my Giants fans? It's your boy Jay Dimes. We're back at it with another video. And if you are a returning subscriber, what is up, my boy? But if this is your first time watching, leave a like, comment, and hit the subscribe button and join the Dime Dropper Gang. Now let's hop into it. So tomorrow, Giants football is back. Giants football is back. Now we do get the news. Well, we did get the news yesterday um, that Joe Judge did say that Daniel Jones will not be lacing up tomorrow. Now I wish that he would have, um, you know, played tomorrow because he hasn't been on fire all camp. You know, he hasn't been. I wanted to get. I wanted Daniel Jones to get in rhythm. I wanted to see how he look. Um, even though it's a mean, meaningless game for him, I wanted to see how he would look. You know, we're not dealing with a Patrick Mahomes here where we know when he steps on the field, we're in good hands. We're dealing with Daniel Jones here. Hasn't did not have the best season last year. So I would have loved to see him, you know, get some throws uh, with whoever was out there. Rather it was Kadarius Tony, Darius Slayton, um, whoever, you know. So uh, Daniel Jones will not play. That is one player that we did get the news on that he will not be playing tomorrow. But um, outside of that, man, we have got no news on any other player not playing tomorrow outside of Daniel Jones and I would say Saquon Barkley which that was pretty self-explanatory but um quarterback Zach Wilson the number two overall pick in the NFL draft will be lacing up tomorrow man so I would love to go out there and you know just ruin his first preseason game I would love to do it I bet day I bet he's coming in there uh, with a chip on his shoulder though you know what I'm saying I bet he wants to show the New York Jets why they were right taking him over quarterbacks like Trey Lance and uh, Mac Jones and Justin Fields so um, I know that man Zach Wilson got a chip on his shoulder for real but I hope the Giants go in there and uh, tell him to pipe down we still own New York but um one player to watch for this preseason game definitely is Rodarius Williams. Um, definitely is Rodarius Williams. This guy here has had an amazing camp. You know, this guy was in with the ones um, during Fan Fest. He locked up Darius Slayton on one play, read his eyes, knocked the ball out in the back of the end zone. So I like Rodarius Williams. He is a guy that I really hope, you know, I ain't say make the roster because I feel like he's a roster lock at this point because he's been doing you know better than Aaron Robinson who hasn't yet who you know hasn't gotten on the field a lot you know dealing with injury but he's been better than Sam Beal he's been better than Aaron Robinson who was a third round draft pick in this draft over him but uh definitely a player to watch for us Rodarius Williams cornerback out of Oklahoma State man um David Seals David Seals another guy having a great camp six foot four wide receiver out of West Virginia this guy here he's also been having a good camp when Kenny Galladay went down with the hamstring um injury this guy filled in and caught I think what two touchdowns this guy has been balling man and he fits the you know he's kind of like a Kenny Galladay um type you know that possession you know uh 50 50 ball wide receiver so I am going to have my eyes glued on david seals and rodarius williams those are my players to watch for preseason week one versus the new york jets i'm also going to be watching the offensive line definitely going to be watching the offensive line got to see how those guys look um they i feel like the jets are going to roll out there with the quinn and williams the uh the um carl lawson's of the world the um what the john franklin myers they're gonna i think they're gonna roll out their starting lineup um on the defensive line so i'm definitely gonna see how does our offensive line look i really do hope that he has our offensive line rather if it's the backup well not the backups but i really hope he has our starting offensive line go out there and play um because uh i want to see how these guys look you know i've been seeing in camp they haven't had the best camp but that could switch in a millisecond as soon as they go out there and face a team that's not their own teammates you know what i'm saying so it's a different ball game when you're facing your own players your own teammates in practice to when you're facing a whole nother different team it's a different ball game so my eyes are going to be more glued to the offensive line um reports have came out that the backup the start the backup offensive linemen you know the brett heggies of the world the kenny wiggins of the world the chad slades none of these guys are household names so um the but the reports have came out that these guys have not looked good the uh, the backup office line has looked atrocious so we're gonna see how does that backup offensive line look in preseason you know with mike glennon and clayton thorson as our quarterbacks going into this game um but yeah this is a preseason game though we're gonna end it on this this is a preseason game um, if the Giants don't go out there and look sharp, that's okay. 
that is okay it's preseason that's when you get all these issues out of the way now when that week three preseason game comes i don't know if it's it versus new england or the browns i'm not really sure but when that week three preseason game i know we had the patriots but that could be the game i'm gonna say the patriots um correct me if i'm wrong down below in the comment section but if we go in there versus new england you know the final preseason game the uh curtain like the final it's like that rehearsal you know what i'm saying that rehearsal before the big concert you know that practice before the big game tomorrow if we go in there we don't look perfect that might be when i start drawing some concerns you know am i concerned a little bit a little bit a little bit you know what i'm saying the giants have not had a full healthy saquon they have not had a full healthy kenny galladay it's not like all those guys healthy it's not like we've all been locked in as a loon for a long time these guys are just coming together we had some additions we had some um acquisitions so we got to get everything together got to get the chemistry right as a whole in the offense but if we go into week three we don't look sharp um week three of the preseason that's when you start showing some concerns because right after that that's when you have to go up against the Denver Broncos week one and the games actually start mattering. So this is week one of the preseason. This game is meaningless. We want to see how these guys look. I hope the Giants go out there and win this game, even though it's a preseason game. Um, the Eagles back in back in season form, losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers last night. Always like to see those guys lose. Chase Young, we already knew that, but he's a beast. All right. He's a beast. I just had to put that in there. He's a beast, bro. But um giants jets tomorrow preseason game can't wait to i i won't be able to watch it but i will be uh looking on espn i will be updated on twitter because i know you guys are going to be updating me on twitter you know the beat reporters jordan ran and um art stapleton zach rosenblatt you know what i'm saying you already know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be locked in so uh yeah man that's gonna really do it giants jets preseason game tomorrow can't wait giants go in there win the game for the team for the squad for the gang that's gonna end it if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment hit the subscribe button and until then it's me boy jay dimes and i am out peace out my boys